Summer reading lists. I don't know why schools make you read over the summer. Isn't the whole point of summer vacation to take a break from school? I don't think that elementary schools do this, but I know for a fact that middle school and high school make you see you do this. I mean, let's be honest. Who wants to read Call of the Wild over the summer? But Ainsley, I want to read Call of the Wild over the summer. That's a good joke. No, seriously, I want to. Get out of my room. Now, in case any of you have no absolute clue about what I'm talking about, let me tell you. A summer reading list is this list your school assigns you to do over the summer. You have to pick one book on the list and read it. Then, when you get back to school, you have to do a project off of it to see what you learned. When I was in sixth grade, the book that I read was The Jungle Book, written by Rudyard Kipling. I hated this book. The book was so boring. So when I got to school, my teacher said we had to do this project. I don't really remember what it was, but I do remember doing it. So when we had to write what we didn't like about the book, I wrote, I didn't like the songs in the book. When I got my paper back, I had a B, and I was completely fine with it, until I saw what my teacher wrote on the part I didn't like. What is this witchcraft? I was so mad that she said there weren't any songs in the book. I mean, did she even read it? I swear there were. I even googled it, and guess what Google said? It said yes! I was right! The next book I read was Anne of Green Gables by Lucy Maud Montgomery. This book was decent. I wouldn't call it my favorite book. I got my reading list a few weeks ago and I saw that Little Women was on there. So I decided I was going to do that book because I already read it before. I'm thinking outside the box. But again, summer reading lists and reading logs are the worst. Here's one more story before I go. When I was in fifth grade, we had to do these reading logs every week, and I hated them. I would sit at my dining room table and cry as I did the logs. And that just proves how awful the logs are. And if any teachers are watching this, then don't assign summer reading lists. Think about it. What kind of student wants to read a book that's like 1,225 pages long over the summer when they can be doing something else? I'm looking at you, War and Peace. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. It really means a lot. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you guys have to do summer reading lists, I'm sorry. Summer reading lists are always awful. I always hate them. I think they're always spoiling everything that's like fun in the summer. Because in the summer, you're te just technically supposed to be taking a break, having fun, you know? Summer reading lists just ruined that whole entire thing. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.